What's going on, everybody? My name is Zella Prince. Welcome back to yet another reaction video. And uh, if you guys are reading the title of this video, that means that I am now going to be reacting to the SCP-105 video by, if I remember their name correctly, SCP Animated Tales from the Foundation. Now, I know I haven't reacted to them in a very, very long time. Mainly due to the fact that I w was recording other stuff and I wanted to understand other SCPs very much, much more clearer than I had previously explained. And if you've read my explanation in the last video why I don't, haven't reacted to them in a long time, that's why. But now we're going to go ahead and react to the video they have on SCP-105 now that I have an understanding of what she is. So now we're going to go ahead and click play on this bad boy in 3, 2, 1, go. Here we go. Because now I have an understanding of what she can do. I just wanted to make sure, make sure I was recording. Wow, she does not We're ready like that for name. You now. Hey, SCPers! Gustav recently got me hooked on this new game, and I want to share. Okay, I gotta skip past this promotion stuff. Sorry, guys. Here we go. We're ready for you now. Just a moment. Today, we will be conducting an evaluation of your mental state with a simple series of questions. We need you to recall the events that led to your containment. So, no experiments? No. We've already learned much about your ability to manipulate photographs. Can you summarize the extent of your powers and when you became aware of them, for the record? Sure. I think I was 10 or 11. I remember because I was looking at a picture of the ocean, and when I touched it, the waves started moving. Mm. And how did your parents respond when you told them? They said I had an overactive imagination. When did you discover that you were able to manipulate objects through a photograph? It was uh, after my family took a trip to the Grand Canyon. I looked through the photo album when we got home and brushed my hand against a photo of us standing at the edge. And when I did, I pushed a rock into the canyon. I could actually hear it clatter on the way down. Go on. I became fascinated with photography after that. Most of the time it didn't work with the photographs I took, but my parents got me a Polaroid One Step Express camera. I'd been begging for them to get it since Christmas. After I got the camera, the photos were, well, you know, like easier to interact with. This is the camera we refer to as 105B, your personal camera. Yes, ma'am. How many photos can you focus on at one time? I've gotten up to 10 at once with my personal camera, but I'm sure I could do more eventually. Okay, I think that's a pretty good summary of your abilities. Um, now, could you tell us about the incident that occurred on October 6, 2016? The one that caused us to contact you? Sure. Honestly, How old is Iris anyway? Does anyone know, or has that been redacted from the files? It, the day itself was kind of a blur. I remember the aftermath better. Everything was just so... normal. I went to work. I got lunch at my favorite cafe. I don't remember what I ate. Probably a mini or something. They made a really good tomato and mozzarella. <gasps> I miss those. Less extraneous details, please. Right, sorry. <laughs> anyway, I went home. I'd been texting my boyfriend about what movie we were going to see on Friday, so maybe that's why I looked at a photograph of us. Um, I picked it up, touched it. The image flickered, as I expected it to, but this time, <laughs> what, I, what I saw... There was a man standing over him with a gun, threatening him. It felt like I was right there in the room. But, but I couldn't do anything because... You can only manipulate objects if they're within reach, right? Exactly, but... Oh, he, was, he was so close, I, I could almost touch him. I watched Jeez. him bleeding out on the floor a few feet in front of me. And, you know, all I could think was... Why didn't I take the photo a little to the left? 
Why can't I stretch my arm just one more inch, huh? As though I'd be able to knock out the attacker or distract him or Yikes. something. <laughs> so, um, I snapped out of it, called the police. I drove to his place as quickly as I could, but by the time I got there, well, you know, it's already gone. All I could think was, we're never going to see that movie. In fact, you'll never see another movie ever again. Yeah, I've, I've come to terms with the fact that I couldn't have done anything, but sometimes I still wonder. She's haunted by the memory of her boyfriend dying. And that she couldn't do anything. There is somebody with a lawnmower outside my house. And we're down the block. Hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up. Okay. Uh, I need a moment. Dr. Collingwood, continue the questionnaire. Oh, wow. Is she okay? Dr. Buck is resilient. Last thing she wants is anyone worrying about her. <clears throat> In any case, I... We usually see Dr. Buck as the strongest, mentally strongest of the of out of all the staff that we've seen on their channel. To see that, that's kind of... Unnor not normal. I think I've, I think we've actually seen her like that again at one point, but I don't remember what video that was. Huh. Okay, let's keep mm, going. Sorry for your loss. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. Uh, I know you mean well. It's just, uh, well, that's what everyone said. Even the people who would later testify against me. Right, the trial. Could you tell me more about that? I was called as a witness in the murder trial. When the police came, they found me crouched next to him, so it was very obvious that I had been at the scene of the crime. I told them I was on the phone with David at the time of the murder, so I hurried to his side. But they caught you in the lie, right? Right. They checked the phone records, and suddenly I went from the grieving girlfriend to the prime suspect. Quickly running out of options, I did the only thing I could. I told my lawyer the truth. You mean about how you saw him through a photograph? The power of the camera? Everything? Yes. He didn't, he didn't take me seriously, it. though. So I went over his head and told the court. That's when they said I was hysterical. They probed my psychiatric records, tore apart every relationship I had ever been in, looked for anything that could prove I was unstable enough to do something horrible. See, in the end, it was easier to believe that I had a psychotic break and killed my boyfriend than it was to believe I had a magic camera. Even Yikes. when I offered to demonstrate how it works. That's when the Foundation contacted me. Yep. What is your impression of the Foundation so far? And please answer honestly. We don't take offense at these things. Uh, it's sort of like, it's like prison mixed reactions. Warden, but I know it's better than what could have happened to me. Well, you've been very cooperative during your time here. I'm a pretty well-behaved person, despite what the court tried to say about me. <laughs> I also like doing experiments with the photographs I've taken. Some of the things you guys have had me do, I, I pff, never would have thought of that on my own. Do you know why I'm asking you these questions, Iris? Nuh-uh, ma'am. Well, we're setting up a special program. Oh. One that will let you perform missions. She's go This is what <laughs> when they recommend bring her into Omega Team. Um, Omega Seven. But it's outside of the facility. You mean I, I I could leave? Just get out of this room. See the world. Well, there are papers to sign and corporate hoops to jump through and training you need to complete. But yes, it's possible. I never imagined. I, I thought I would be stuck here forever. Can I take pictures again? Plenty, if everything goes according to plan. Well, that's the end of the pop quiz. Uh, do you have any other questions for me? Mimi's Cafe? Panini? <laughs> she wants a panini. I'll look into it. Thank you, Iris. <laughs> now she really wants a panini. So, do you want to talk about something? No, definitely not. Okay, well, if you need a break or some time off work... I need nothing of the sort. Don't patronize me. Okay, okay. Sorry. Just saying. After our last interview, it was super weird when you showed up the next day like nothing happened. 
How do you expect me to act? Was I supposed to be crying and shaking all day, unable to do my job? I'm not a child. Oh, Jesus. My fuck. God. That's not what I'm saying at all. Look, I don't know what you're going through or why you had to run out of that room just now, but everyone has their demons. If you don't want to talk to me about them, that's fine. But you need to talk to someone. You would think that after years of dealing with all manner of world-ending anomalies, they wouldn't bother me anymore. They scare everyone, Buck. Including me. I don't know if this means anything to you, but my opinion of you hasn't changed. Your flattery is unnecessary. Do keep such opinions to yourself. Do you want to get coffee sometime? Coffee? Yeah, coffee. You know, the brown caffeinated liquid that people drink in the morning. It's made from beans. Yes, I know what coffee is, Collingwood. <laughs> Why do you want to get it? I just realized that I don't know anything about you. We never talk outside of work, and aren't personal relationships supposed to foster healthy working ones? Or something? I'll consider it. But only if it gets you to stop ranting about my inner demons during work hours. Deal. You know. Nice. I could just threaten to report that you ditched an interview if you don't go. Wow. <laughs> I won't, because I'm a good person. You're welcome. Shun it. Oh, okay, that was. Oh, it is new skin. Okay, I know, I know who these people are now. Okay, never mind. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that reaction video. I'm so glad I watched the video before this, the other Iris episode video before this one, because it basically just it was just an interview of the events that happened that I re reacted to in the rubber video that I that came out the day before. So that it did a lot of good for me to understand and get more into Iris. That interesting with Doctor Buck though. That I want to see a little bit more of and get a more of an understanding. But um, I've been watching this channel for over a year now, and I could see the quality of the animations getting better and better with every video. Especially since these people run a few other channels, like maybe six other channels as well. Because I watched the, the other, some of the other stuff they do. I just never truly realized until a few months ago that it was Newscape Pro that was running this channel as well. I just did not know that at first, but now I know. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video, and if you guys have any other SCP react, uh, suggestions or any video suggestions, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want me to check, look at a specific video, you find my Discord link in the description of these videos, and there will be a section in Discord called Video Suggestions if you guys want to go check that out. The Discord baby might be dead, at least the server I made, but it's still up for reaction videos and suggestions that you guys want me to react to. But hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff, guys, and I will see you in the next reaction video. Bye.